Alright, today we're going to do a simple animation. We're going to use an object that we haven't used yet, and that's a door. So we're going to click our standard primitives. Go to door, and under that it's going to give us three different options, pivot, sliding, and bifold. We're going to use the pivot, which is a standard door, hinges on one side, it opens from another side. Now, when we draw this door, we can click and drag it over. Uh, we're going to do it from left to right. And when we do this, we can accidentally get a slight angle on that. And doors need to be straight. They need to be at a 90 degree angle from your wall. In order to make sure that we do that, we're going to select this snaps toggle. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to click in between these grid lines. And it's going to get that specific spot. So when we go from here to here, we know that that's going to be 90 degrees when we pull it out. Now notice when we click this snaps toggle, we get this yellow crosshair. That's where it's going to select. So you notice that it only gives us the option of getting in between these grid lines where they intersect each other. So we're going to click, drag it out, see that 90 degree angle, let go, drag it down, and then we're going to pull it up. Now, here is our door. We can open our door and close it by using this open function. Over here we have some options like double door. So when we click double door, it's going to split that door down the middle and it's going to open it like a closet door. Or we can do a flip swing door. So we can flip it around the other way. And we can move the hinge to the other side. So you can see whichever side you want it to open left or right handed. So we're going to leave this uh, double door on there so we can see a little bit better what's going on here. Now on our timeline, normally when you start this timeline, it's going to start at 100. Mine's at 120, so we're going to change it back to 100 for now. So now that we go about 100, our slider goes across here. And in order to start our animation, we're going to click on this auto key. Now, this is very important. When you start your animation, to click your auto key. And when you stop animating, you click the auto key and turn it off. If you don't do that, it'll mess your animation up. All right, now that we've got that, we're going to click key. And notice this little square popped up here. That's going to be our closed frame. We're going to slide the slider, move the object click key. Slide the slider, move the object, click key. Slider, object, key. Slider, object, key. Now I went over that multiple times because I wanted you to understand that it's very important to remember slider, object, and then key. If you get it out of that order, your animation will get messed up. We're going to turn our auto key off. Now what you're going to notice here is this. It's going to open up slowly from here to here. So let's watch that. Let's, I'll turn on the 3D mode so you can see it in 3D. So it opens up slowly. Now, when I hit play again, it's going to close faster than it opened. The reason for that is we have all the space in between the open, or excuse me, the close and the open but then we only have 20 frames in between the open and the close frame. And now here we only have 15 frames, so it's going to open up even faster than it closed. And then it's going to close about the same speed as it opened here because of the 15 frames. Now in order to smooth that out, let me turn this snap toggle off. We can click and drag these keyframes. So this is our open keyframe. So wherever I put this is where it's going to be fully open. I'm going to put that on 20. So we got closed, open. Now we want to close it 20 frames from that. So this should be a smooth open and close. Now, if we want to keep that going for a little while, we can copy these keyframes by simply holding our shift button down. So we have closed, open, 
close. We need an open here, so we're going to grab this open one. Drag it to 60. Stop. Now we have closed, open, closed, open. We need a closed one next. So we'll go to this one, copy it out, put it here. So it should, when we play it, have a smooth transition between all of these until it gets here. And when it gets here, it's going to speed up because of this little short time, and we'll fix that here in just a second. Let's play it out. All right, there's that jump there, so we need to get rid of this. Now, if we just delete this keyframe, we have a closed, open, closed, open, closed. If we delete the open, it's going to stay closed between these two. So really what we want to do is we want to delete this last closed frame. We want to slide this out. And now we have a closed, open, and we have a closed here. So watch what happens. Watch this jump at the end. We gotta fix that because we want it to look like it's going on a continuous open closed animation. So in order to do that, we're gonna add this and we're gonna add 20, go back to our 120. And we're gonna have to add one more keyframe down here, which is gonna be this one. So we have closed open we want to add a closed at the end so it makes that smooth transition from here to here and now let's play it out and see what we have and you can see that continues to open and close seamlessly